some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. For my lovely subscribers and for those who don't know, this is Andre Sloan. He is a rising star within the Frauded or Destroyer community. Although he has not produced that many videos so far, he, what he has produced has been a great value of information for us all. And this video that I'm about to show you from his channel is no different. In fact, it'll be a bit humorous throughout the video because of certain information, well, that just a, goes against the grain of what is, well common sense really with the Long Island Audit but of course Long Island Audit Sean Paul Reyes really does not have that much in the way of brains nor common sense so let's sit back relax and enjoy the show good evening everyone and it's great to have you here for another video I feel 100% better than I did earlier this week, and I wanted to get a video out uh, to y'all before you all lost interest in my channel here. Uh, and first off, I want to thank the thousand people who have subscribed in the past two weeks. Uh, we've gone up over 1,000 subscribers now. And, I, and again, another huge shout out and thanks to all the bigger channels who have sent subscribers my way. Uh, this has definitely blown up a lot faster than I ever thought it would. So I wanted to bring you all another video on the Long Island Audits, uh, Sean Paul Reyes, so we can expose him some more for the untransparent fake and fraud that he is. So if you're interested, grab some popcorn and climb on board the crazy train of frauditing. So let's take care of all our legal obligations here and uh, get this short fair use disclaimer out of the way. And then we can talk uh, about part two of exposing Sean Paul Reyes as the fake and fraud he is. You know, since he wants to scream about transparency to everyone, you know, uh, transparency for thee, you know, except when it comes to him. So in other words, you know, transparency for thee, but not for me. You know, since he was exposed two weeks ago for the prison record that he had, and you know, he hid from everybody and denied for years, you know, he, uh, you know, where he went on the plot hole uh, with Johnny O and told everybody in a live stream that, you know, this revelation didn't really matter to him and, you know, he only cared what his family thought of him and what he thought of himself and, you know, all that happy horse shit. But you know what? Within days, he was striking channels for doxing him and having videos removed from channels like Familia TV, who, you know, that guy's become a huge mentor to me on how to do all this channel stuff. You know, and thanks again, Familia. I'd call him by his real name, but I don't know if he wants that out here yet or not. You know, it might already be out there. I don't know. Uh, but to me, and, and you know, to me, that's not very transparent of uh, Sean Paul, nor is it very First Amendment-like of uh, him to do that. You know, that, that sounds like a total hypocrite to me. Hypocrisy at its finest. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of him going out and you know, uh, having videos removed because it shows transparency. So if you haven't heard yet, you must be living under a rock because it's big, big news in the communities uh, that Long Island Audits, Sean Paul Reyes, was convicted of trespassing at the Danbury, Connecticut City Hall or Town Hall, I can't remember which it was, uh, in last year. Um, you heard that right. Sean took the case to trial Rumors have it he spent $50,000 on two lawyers, and he was still convicted of uh, a violation offense of trespassing, for which he was fined a whole $90. So $50,090 later, Sean Paul came out of this case a loser, and he is still complaining about it on his channel. But let me show you this, this video right here where that happened. They're going to have forms that you have to fill out a form before you can roll the camera, like in the hallways and in the, but yeah. you can't go into a department. I, I, know, I, know, okay. I know exactly yeah. the rules okay. on filming. Yeah. 
Oh, wait a minute, Sean. Are you sure about that? Now, now, can you explain to me the difference between a public forum, a non-public forum, and a limited public forum? Well, that would mean that would mean me being that would be that's a that you're referring to the public forum doctrine. I'm not an attorney. I'm not even a pro se litigant as right, but I'm saying, and you can't disrupt. That, that's so what right now. That's why I educated yeah, so you I, and the officers they're, they're last time. To, educated who? Who did you educate, Sean? I don't think so. You're supposed to give me the forms as we speak. So okay. you can just wait here. Uh, just wait one second. I'm going to try to get a form. All right. I, I, don't, I don't really need a form, though. That's not what you I need. need Sean, didn't you just tell us all you weren't a lawyer or a pro se litigant, so you, you didn't really know how it all worked? Well, why are you telling this guy you know how it all works? And you don't need a form. Okay. We're not going to listen to this. Oh, Sean, you didn't. Did did you just trespass into that building like that? Did did you do a dumb dumb? Huh? Oh, I thought you knew what you were doing. Well, that's why you were charged with trespassing, and that's why you were convicted of trespassing, wasn't it, Sean? Because you didn't know what the hell you were doing, did you? Oh, those limited public forums, they'll get you every time. Oh, maybe you should have stayed and filled that form out, huh, Sean? Blue Bear for $5 says, does Long Island Audit know the difference between a public forum and a limited public forum? Uh, can you explain the difference? If you well, that would mean that would mean me being, that would be, that's a, that you're referring to the public forum doctrine. I'm not an attorney. I'm not even a pro se litigant as far as, you know, don't claim to have my Reyes, Reyes, and Reyes anywhere. Um, so I feel like that'd be legal advice, and I I can't because I'm not an attorney. And even if I was, I don't think attorneys give legal, legal advice over YouTube. So some of them do. Some of them So as you just saw on the Plot Holes live stream, Long Island Audits, or Sean Paul Reyes, refuses to answer the question about public forums. So now let me ask you this question. Do you think it's because he truly doesn't understand the difference in the forums? Which, you know, hey, ignorance of the law is no excuse for breaking the law. So maybe Sean Paul Reyes should learn the difference in the forums before he goes out to videotape in these buildings and stop having such an inflated narcissistic ego and telling everyone he knows the laws. Or... Is it that John Paul Reyes has a sinister plot going on here where he really does know the difference in the public forums but chooses to ignore them because they don't fit into his narrative on public buildings or publicly funded buildings, you know, and uh, being able to videotape public employees and public spaces and places and things like that. So in other words, is Sean Paul Reyes fragrantly breaking the law to push his incorrect narrative? You know, if he would just study some Supreme Court cases, he would quickly learn that just because it's a public building does not mean you have the right to be there. First Amendment protected activity or fantasizing that you're the press or not, you don't have a right to be there according to the Supreme Court. So interestingly enough, in the middle of this uh, seven or eight day trespassing trial he had going, Jesus, I've seen murder trials shorter than that. So, but anyways, Sean Paul uh, Reyes posted a video from Potawatomi County in Oklahoma, where he did an interview on a courthouse there. So are we to think Sean took time off during his trial in Connecticut to go out to Oklahoma and do an audit? So where the hell did this video come from? Now, let me ask you, is it an old video that he reposted for views while he was on trial? Uh, isn't that against YouTube's uh, terms of service? Or is this an older video that he had saved and he just now dropped because he's in need of money? So anyways, let me take a look Let's take a look, not let me, <laughs> take a look at this video, uh, which I'm going to have to edit and chop up uh, for time constraints. Otherwise, you guys are going to be like, you know, hey, Sloan, you're killing us here. 
you know, and uh, you'll be taking head dives off your computer chairs trying to get away from my voice. Um, so uh, just rest assured, you can find this full video in the Frauditors channel if you really want to watch it in its entirety. You know, in case you all don't entirely trust me yet or not. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Potawatomi County Courthouse here in the great state of Oklahoma. We're here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Now oh, wait a minute, Sean. Are you sure about that? Now, now, can you explain to me the difference between a public forum, a non-public forum, and a limited public forum? Well, that would mean that would mean me being that would be that's a that you're referring to the public forum doctrine. I'm not an attorney. I'm not even a pro se litigant. As our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue and a problem when we record them. No, no, it's not, Sean. See, you guys like to put that out there like that, but, you know, they record you for security reasons. It's not so much you as they are recording everyone for security reasons. And you also have to be reminded they don't take their videos and splice them so that it makes them look like a certain way and then put it on a YouTube channel to sell it and make money. Are you videoing? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures and video, ma'am. Who are you? I am Candy Griffin. Candy Griffin? Yeah. And it's you're a deputy? Protected if you, yes, if you'll read the sign down there, it's protected. You can't audio and video. So there you go, folks. Sean was just told this is a limited public forum and you cannot video or audio record in the courthouse per the sign downstairs. Now he's going to argue. Listen, he's going to argue with her. What's protected? It says it downstairs, the building is. Protected against what? Audio and videoing. Why would that be, is that a law? Well, yes, Sean, it is a law. If you would take the time to educate yourself, you would find out that the Supreme Court has ruled in limited public forums, they may restrict certain activities, such as video and audio recording. How about that, Sean? Deputy, excuse me? Noels. Noels. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I don't need any assistance at the moment, no. Actually, you're in violation of a courthouse order. So what, what, what courthouse order is that? If you will go downstairs, I will show you where it's posted. It's posted. So yeah, and in. it's a courthouse order for yeah. yes, against for exercising a constitutionally protected activity? <laughs> uh, in a secured area, yes. We this is not jurors. a secured area. Well, that would mean that would mean me being that would be in, that's a that you're referring to the public forum doctrine. I'm not an attorney. I'm not even a pro se litigant. As okay, so we're going to cut ahead to where they actually show Sean the sign where it makes this a limited public forum where he cannot video or audio record. He's going to argue with the deputies over whether he can or cannot. You know, Sean, if you would just learn about limited public forums, you would just stop looking like an ass to the rest of us out here. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's just anyone could have that sign. Uh, Not this one. Anybody could have that sign this made. File in the district court. Yep. There shall be no cameras, video, digital, or still allowed in the courthouse. Except for ceremonial purposes, cell phones with camera functions may not be used in the courthouse. It says, A meter will take place in the city of a courtroom. Yeah, it says, so I can't, media cannot, media personnel the same allegation. That's item B, so you're in violation of item A. Okay, so right here, the dumb fuck has been shown a huge goddamn sign. This is no video or audio recording. He's been read the courthouse order of no cell phone recording or videoing in the vicinity of courtrooms. And he still wants to argue because he either doesn't know about limited public forums or he is being totally ignorant of the law to push some agenda or ill-conceived narrative that he has 
Then Sean wonders why he was found guilty of trespassing in Danbury, Connecticut. It's it's because he's a dumb fuck. This is what we in law enforcement call a criminal mentality. Sean wants to do what Sean wants to do whenever Sean wants to do it and wherever Sean wants to do it. And you know what? Fuck you if you don't like it. Well, you know what, Sean? If you don't like the law, get it changed legally. Petition your lawmakers you know, to uh, change the law. Don't travel from New York to Oklahoma and try and drive your bullshit down someone else's throat. Advocate for real goddamn change and do it legally. Stop being a fucking inmate, for Christ's sakes. So let's... All right, all right let me calm down for a second here. Let's now skip ahead to where Sean's going to meet the captain of the sheriff's department. And, oh, Sean tries oh so hard to intimidate this professional lawman who just is not having it. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay. Um, are you supervisor with the sheriff's department, yes, sir? Yes, sir. I'm Captain Marcus May. Captain? Marcus May. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the publicly accessible areas, not in any courtrooms or jury rooms or anything of that nature. Um, your deputy over here came up to me and said that everybody has a right to privacy in public and that um, they showed me the order mm -hmm. and I told them I believe that order to be unconstitutional. Okay. Wait a minute, Sean. You feel the policy is unconstitutional, so therefore you feel in your narcissistic, egotistical fucking attitude that it's okay to break it? That's like saying you don't believe in a law, like like first degree robbery, and, and so we're just going to break it and it should be okay. That's asinine, Sean. Um... And I was just waiting to hear from a supervisor to see if you were going to enforce that order or or not, because I have a First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and just gather content. I'm not trying to escalate the situation uh, in any way. I'm actually de-escalating. That's why I waited here for you for, you know, I wanted to give you the respect and say, hey, let, let's let's de-escalate it. It doesn't need to be escalated any more than it already was, you know. I just, I wanted to get the clear picture on what was allowed in the courtroom because I know my rights. Well, that would mean, that would mean me being, that would be, that's a, that you're referring to the public forum doctrine. I'm not an attorney. I'm not even a pro se litigant. As um, This is what I, the same way you took an oath to uphold the constitution. I didn't take an oath, but my job is to exercise my rights and flex those rights. So that way people around the country can see okay, this is what we can and cannot do, this is our rights, you know, we have to stand up for our rights. And then as law enforcement officers, you know, it's your job to uphold the Constitution and defend our rights. And that's my only purpose here. Okay, okay so here, here's, and I appreciate you speaking to me, in the manner you're speaking, and it always happens. Sure, I understand. So again, my name is Marcus May, I'm a captain here at the Sheriff's Office, okay? Uh, I've consulted uh, the District Attorney's Office, and I'm, uh, I'm all for you know, protecting you know, your constitutional rights. I appreciate that. There is a court order uh, that forbids the, uh, the use of videos, uh, video equipment, taking any videos inside the courtroom. Correct. Um, and there is also a, a state statute uh, that forbids entering a public building uh, with the intent to disrupt uh, a government business. And I say that uh, we have a judge that's already spoken with us. Uh, she probably disrupted a part of her proceedings when he was upstairs uh, filming some juveniles that were waiting to be seen in court. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did did the captain just say that Sean Paul Reyes was filming children waiting to be seen in juvenile court? And Sean thinks that's okay? So now Sean is running around with a video of children on his phone? And this is in the name of the First Amendment somehow? This is in the name of transparency of public buildings somehow? What the fuck is this guy thinking? Now, if, if my child were videotaped on his phone, I would have to take the charge. I would, really. Cop or no cop, I'd have to kick his ass worse than it was stomped at that prison. Uh, what the fuck was it? Mohawk or something. And uh, I would. I'd kick his ass worse than it was stomped there. 
and I did his fucking phone would be in a billion pieces for Christ's sakes. It's, I, I, I'm going to end this audit right here, folks, because Long Island audits, Sean Paul Reyes is nothing but a fake. He's a fraud. He's a fucking hypocrite, and he's a goddamn liar. He doesn't do this for the First Amendment. He does it because he thinks he's found a loophole to be able to harass public employees because he's nothing more than a criminal. He's a narcissist, and he's so egotistical that he thinks he's above the law. You heard him in the live stream with uh, uh, Johnny O. Sean either doesn't know the law about recording in public buildings, or he's flagrantly, how do you pronounce that? Flagrantly ignoring the law. Well, look. He just spent $50,000 and got a $90 fine and lost in court. And Danbury, Connecticut, God only knows how much they spent just to prove to him that he's a fucking criminal. Now, Sean Paul Reyes is nobody special, though he is fucking all important in his own mind. He's nothing more than just a piece of shit. He's an inmate is what he is. He's a street hustler with a gift of gab when he needs it to further his personal goals. And that's all I can stand of this subject. No more. Sean Paul Reyes will never, ever grace this channel again. I'm very, very concerned about Sean Paul Reyes videotaping children in a courthouse like it's okay, and then cutting that part out of his video. He wasn't going to tell anybody, but the proof was right there because of what the captain told us all. So that's it, folks. Hopefully no one took a swan dive uh, head first off of their computer chair or their computer desk <laughs> waiting for me to get to the end of this video. You know, and thank you all so much for uh, watching it till the end if you've made it this far. You know, if you did, please hit the like button so I'll know if you liked the video. I'm still not monetized, so I'm not making any money off of this. But it tells me if you really like the video or not. Uh, comment in the section down below. Let me know what you think of this video and my style and my flair, if I have any. And what I need to change or what I need to do differently uh, that would, you know, make the videos better. If you can, please share this video as far and wide as you can so we can expose this fake and fraud and hypocrite of Sean Paul Reyes. Now, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down there. And uh, after you do that, there's another button that says all. If you would hit that, that will let you notified of all the new content that's out there. And please, please tell all your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, tell your enemies, hell, I don't care, about this cha new channel here. And uh, they then they can come and enjoy my lovely commentary and witty banner also. Uh, thank you again, all. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, y'all take care. And that was Andre Sloan. He's doing very good work on his channel, helping the community out in any way he can. Now, as far as Long Island Audit goes, spending $50,000 to uh, erase a uh, $90 fine and still failing to do so, well, now, that is really pathetic. You wasted $50,000 of your own money. And I don't know how much money the courts wasted on you, how much time was wasted on you as a whole. That's time and money wasted out of the taxpayers' wallets because of you. But of course, you know, some people's narcissism knows no limits. He doesn't care about the taxpayers. No, if he had cared about the taxpayers and wasn't such a narcissist, he would have paid the $90 and went about his life.